Hello everyone! Today is a beautiful day here in Avon, Ohio and I thought why not try to draw something nice and share a little bit of the process with you guys. So let's get started! I like to use cold press watercolor paper because the texture helps a little bit with the flow of the ink. And these frames, I just got them from Michaels, they were on discount, it's a pack of three. And I'm gonna use the format, the eight by eight inches, to do the illustration on them. For this illustration, I'm going to use a photo for reference. And what I'm going to try is not to be realistic, but to imitate or emulate the features and the posture of the character in the photo. I am using a cold erase pencil here just to define a little bit and I'm gonna use my memory to try to remember those features that are very important for this character and uh, something that pops up to me from Margaret is her eyes. The actress has these beautiful eyes so I'm gonna make them pop up. I'm going to start using a rapidograph to ink Princess Margaret's face. For the sake of this video, I want to be very precise because it doesn't matter how many years you've been drawing, you're gonna still going to make mistakes. But you can use any tool of your preference for inking. I personally like this brand's ink. It comes with a waterproof ink. So it doesn't matter if you are going to ink now and then color later, it's gonna be fine. So the reason I decided to draw this character is because I'm a huge fan of The Crown, which is a series on Netflix. And the new season is coming up in a couple of days, so I'm really excited. And of course, Princess Margaret is my favorite character. I think she has a lot of energy. She's a very complex character and she is the complete opposite of her sister Elizabeth. Besides, the actress is just... she is just gorgeous. So I'm going to start with her hands right now and they're going to be a little bit tricky. I'm not going to try to do the exact same position of her hands as in the picture because this is a line drawing. If I try to do it exactly like the photo, it's going to look weird. So what I'm going to do here is to tweak here and there a little bit the position of her fingers just to give a hint of how her hands are positioned. So let's check how she's looking now. I think she looks like Anastasia. Did you remember that movie? But we're getting there. So let's start with the shades now. For some of the shading and the black spots, I'm going to use a Kuretake brush. And what I'm going to do now is to hint a little bit where the shading is. And as I said before, I'm not trying to be realistic or accurate. I'm just tweaking here and there what I want to do with this drawing, where I want to take it. Okay, let's play with colors and she's wearing a very dark color dress so I want her to have a red dress because why not? And in this case I'm using a watercolor pencil from the brand Prismacolor and they're really fun to use. Just be careful with the first layer you're gonna make because it's literally using a watercolor bar on paper. So uh, just make a very fine layer 
at the beginning and start building up. I am going to make a list on the description box listing all the tools that I'm using on this video. I just want to let you know that you can use any tool you feel comfortable with. I think that some people feel more comfortable inking with nibs or brushes. And I do encourage you to try different types of art supplies. It is not necessarily the most expensive ones. I don't think the tools are going to make the job for you. It is mostly your discipline and consistency what is going to help you improve your skills. But it's good to experiment a little bit with different types of art supplies out there. The market has really good variety of art supplies. Now I'm going ahead giving a color for the background. I chose purple because it's my favorite color. And I'm going to start doing some highlights with this Posca marker and that's it. And this is how my desk looks now. Have you ever tried drawing a portrait of your favorite character? Why don't you try it out? Tag me on Instagram so I can see your piece. See you next time. Bye bye.